shoes, attire, and hairstyle are all part of branding. What tops it all is your face. The face is a very essential part of your branding. Riri, the boss lady at Riri Makeovers, is our guest today on the spotlight. Okay, I think I'll give my work uh, seven. Seven because when it comes to makeup, you can't say you know everything because you learn something new every day. So yeah, I'll just give myself seven. When I was a kid, I've always wanted to be a nurse. But then, somewhere around secondary school, I realized that wasn't what I wanted. I'm just passionate about makeup. I've always liked, when I look at people, I always imagine what I can do to their face. How I can enhance their beauty. Like, I always like imagine things when I look at people. Especially when you're very pretty, I just be like, I can do this to her and she'll look better. So I've always had a like, passion for makeup. My first job was on a friend of mine for her engagement. And it was challenging because she had acne you know, on her face. So yeah, it was challenging for me. But then at the long run, when I finished, she saw herself in the mirror and then she shouted. Even though I felt like I wasn't satisfied with what I did, but then she was very satisfied. She really liked how everything turned out. So that alone motivated me, in a way, to continue doing what I love. So. The young makeup artist names her mentor and teacher, Nancy Black, as the person she longs to make over. Nancy Black, she's the person I would really like to make up because she taught me what I know now. Yes, and she's very good. When I say good, she's very good. So the day I will make her up and then she'll be satisfied, then I know I'm somewhere. Yes. It's a pain job, like, it's, when it comes to being paid and all that, it's, it's, it's very, how do I put it? <laughs> Profitable. The thing is, when you get the right links and then you are good, that's all you need. It's highly paid. It's a highly paid job. In the world of makeup, Riri is of the opinion that the best way to sell yourself is becoming a mobile billboard. The best way to market your business is your face. Yeah, and the first thing is your face. You can't claim you are a makeup artist and then you are always going to places with your bare face. It's not written on, on your forehead that you are a makeup artist, so you really need to do something on your face. For other people to, I mean, I go to places, nobody knows me, but then someone will just walk up to me and ask me, who did your makeup? And then I'll say, I did it myself. Then she'll ask, wow, are you a makeup artist? And I say, then she takes my number, like, it goes on from there. So, if you're a makeup artist, you need, your face is like your billboard. You need to always do something on your face. When I'm home, I don't do makeup at all, unless I need to. But when I'm coming out, that is the only way I advertise myself. And sometimes on Instagram, but mostly it's just on my face. Almost all makeup artists don't like working on that, like dark skin. But everything you apply looks right. So whenever we have a job to do, we always pray that either the person is fair or chocolate. When the person is very dark, it doesn't mean you don't have the person. You have everything in the person's color, but. When you, when, when you apply, it ends up looking all white. So we all prefer not to work on that skin. But then, we can't say, it's our work. We have to be ready for everything. But that's the only thing, that's the only challenge that I'm facing right now. Dark skin. Very dark skin. Not just any dark skin. Very dark skin. <laughs> the guys, they are, they are to blame. Because these days, every guy makes it look like any girl that is dark skin is not beautiful. So at the long run, every girl wants to be seen as a beautiful girl. So they go and do whatever they do to their skin, just so they feel beautiful. Even if not to anybody, but then to themselves. So I think that's why some girls do it. But then some just take it too far by using all sorts of things on their skin. And it's, I don't think it's, it's the best. But then I think it's all because of guys. Some guys just make it look. It's just not fair. Although Riri is young in the makeup business, she has earned for herself a very beautiful portfolio of jobs she has executed so far. Okay, yeah, uh, I've made up Miss International uh, Girls. I don't know how to put that. And then uh, I've 
worked on a few people for some video shoots. One, uh, the title of the song is Red Letter. I think it's Taser featuring Miyogi and Twist. Uh, I've worked with Eugene Kumsi, he's a director. I don't remember the title of the song. I've worked with Sefaji, he's also a musician. The title of the song is You Saved Me. And a couple of this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You saved me. You saved me. Go check speeders. You saved me. Makeup artists, that's how I'll, I'll call them. They are not makeup artists, but then because they can do eyebrow and lipstick, they call themselves makeup artists. So, at the long run, because they charge, they charge uh, very cheap. So, at the long run, when you are good and you charge high, then they tend to frown because they would rather go to someone who can just do eyebrow and lipsticks for them and pay less. But if you are looking for quality, you really, really need, I mean, we. We all work good things, but then we don't want to pay for it. So that's the problem we have here. You can say, it. don't ever give up. Believe in yourself. Because right now, to tell you the truth, a lot of people believe in me than I believe in myself. And I think it's very bad. You have to believe in yourself. And then just listen to other people, take advice from them. And then just go, help yourself. But then just don't give up. That's all I can say, don't give up. My name is Regina Safa and I'm passionate about makeup. I can't see myself doing anything else. So I love makeup. Interrogate, but in him you can have a total change. Cause me, I see myself levitate. I entreat you to to work in faith. But so do when you see the heavens gate. But back God before you are prostrate. On the cross of Calvary, your son you gave.